In the last exercise, we created a bakery class. This is a parent class, which we are going to extend or allow a subclass to inherit. So in the same file, I've created a class called pie, which is of the bakery type. So everything that's in bakery, you can use in pie. So the pie class is extending the bakery class and adding additional methods and then additional methods to handle the pie filling. So when we initialize it, we send our self, product, quantity, price, and filling. That's what we need to initialize it. And then we call bakery, our super class or parent class, the initialization so that we can initialize product, quantity, and price. Then locally, we initialize filling equal to the filling that was passed in. We then have to add our mutator for the filling, set filling and we have to add the accessor for the filling, return filling. Now this one's a little funky because we, I'm overriding, I'm creating a new function for printing the entire object. And what's funky about it is when I'm inside of the initial bakery class, I can directly access my variables. I can't do that when I'm in another class. That's what the double underscore means, is that they're hidden. I do not have direct access. That forces me to use the get methods. So to override, and I'm, I've got my same method, I've written the same method um, of the string, which will let me print the method. I've got product, and then I'm using get product. I'm not directly accessing the variable. I have to use the self.get product, self.get filling self.get quantity. Now I could, for the filling, I have it as self.get filling, but I could just use it as self. underscore underscore filling because it is local to this class. I could use that instead of the method, instead of the get method, and it would do return, ooh, it should have returned the same thing. self.filling. That should have worked. Oh, because it doesn't need the parentheses, because that one's not a method. Let's try it again. There we go. So I could have <coughs> done it this way. When you're using something that is outside of the immediate class, you have to use the method. If you're inside the class, you can access it directly. But that, me but the using the get method will also work. So that's what those double underscores in front of it do. They protect it. Here, the double underscores protect it from being accessed by another class. So I've used everything from the bakery and added additional function functionality by adding the filling option and then I tested it.